Hello viewers. So today we are going to see about uh, how to generate high quality plots with the MATLAB functions. So for that uh, I am going to take some example. So that means I am going to use uh, sinusoidal uh, waveform. So and then it going to be processed via some gain block okay so i'm going to multiply the sinusoidal waveform with the uh, factor 0.5 and then i'm going to uh, see the variation of that uh, waveform nature in the scope window okay so uh, normally in uh, scope window so we will see that uh, this kind of of uh, variation of that uh, some any kind of uh, waveforms okay so it will look like the background is uh, look like uh, bla uh, yes like black color and then you will see some yellow and uh, um, blue color uh, variation of that waveforms okay but uh, you are going to uh, use that figure in uh, some uh, paper so if you want to publish any paper so this kind of uh, waveform is not accepted with a high quality journal okay so then you need to modify that waveform uh, with uh, some uh, uh, high quality and attractive um, manner okay so we can uh, change this waveform uh, details with uh, some modification so if you do some modification then you will get uh, this kind of waveform okay so this kind of waveform can be used for your uh, in paper for uh, paper publications okay so how we can uh, generate this kind of a form in MATLAB okay so let's do, let's let me go for that MATLAB so so you can see that so uh, I created some uh, some link model that means sinusoidal input so I am going to click th that one so here I am fixed and the amplitude is 10 and then uh, frequency angular frequency is 2 pi f that means the frequency is 50 hertz and then going to be multiplied with the 0.5 that means output from that uh, gain will be the sinusoidal variation with the peak amplitude of 5 volt ok so I, uh, next I am going to uh, visualize that waveform in this scope window ok this is scope window so this uh, visualization of that uh, two waveform ok so this is uh, original waveform and then this is modified uh, waveform after multiplication ok so uh, initially you will see that uh, this kind of uh, waveform from the scope window ok so background is uh, like uh, is black color and then you will get uh, yellow and blue color waveform right so you want to change this color so in attractive manner ok so for that uh, you just you go to menu view ok go to view and then click style so after click this uh, window it will uh, pop up the another window so just you have to click uh, figure color to white and axis color to white and then uh, this color change to black and then you go to apply so it going to be changed ok so background color change to white and axis color uh, letters uh, numbers going to be changed to black color but uh, further you want to change the color of that uh, waveform to waveform right so for that go to that active display and then uh, property of line so it will show two uh, parameter right sine wave and gain ok so sine wave nothing but uh, that the output from that uh, sinusoidal generator and gain nothing but uh, the output from the uh, gain block right and just you have to click this one and then th change that uh, line uh, uh, width ok so just you have to change to 2 and then change the color and then apply so you will see that uh, uh, line variation right that means it has uh, line width of two points so next you go to change the next uh, waveform parameter just to go to choose that uh, 
again and then change the line width and then change the color okay so the now the waveform is uh, has some high quality and also you can add uh, uh, x and y axis so for that uh, go to file and then uh, click this option uh, print to figure right just will click this one so after clicking that uh, print to figure option it will uh, navigate to another window here go to insert ok insert and then uh, click x label so here you can type uh, so normally the y, y axis is sorry x axis is uh, time and second ok time and second and insert y label so y label is uh, amplitude amplitude in volts ok in voltage or current whatever may be according with your uh, scope output so and then you can uh, insert legend also legends click this one so if you click this one you will uh, see this kind of uh, box ok so you can edit that uh, that function box also just you have to click this arrow mark and then click this line so sign wave 1 and then so you can change uh, this name also sign wave 2 ok so you can view any any anywhere on the legend you can place anywhere in that uh, figure ok so you can move anywhere so just you got to pick some uh, apt location and then you can place that uh, legend ok and then close that one so now you can see that uh, the, the, the font size of that uh, x y and legend will be very small right so you want to change that uh, uh, font size ok so for that uh, go to that uh, that means you have to export that figure in high resolution uh, figure right so for that uh, you go to file and export setup ok click that export setup so we will it will generate and uh, it will navigate to another window right so first it show that uh, size of that uh, figure right so you can uh, fix the size that means height and uh, width of that uh, figure so it, it has different units inch uh, centimeter points so i'm going to choose inches okay so i'm going to fix the width for that uh, figure yes you can use that is 16 is to 9 ratio okay for example i'm going to fix that uh, width is 5 inch right then you got to choose that height will be uh, ratio of uh, 16 to 9 16 is to 9 that means you can change 3.3 and then uh, you can use that you can expand that axis also otherwise if you want to expand that axis then you can uh, use this option for example i am going to click this one and then apply to figure right see that it change the size also right so change the width and height ok if, if you don't want that uh, expand axis then you can uh, unclick uh, untick this one and then update the figure next you want to uh, change the resolution ok so for that you go to comes to rendering ok so you can see that on off or nothing but resolution and tpi so you can choose to 300 so normally any publication uh, any journal they ask uh, uh, high resolution normally they, they are asked 300 tp resolution figure right so you just you have to choose this option 300 so and next you have to choose the font ok font you can select the uh, font name if 
from that uh, menu okay and then you fix the font size also so normally you can fix the font size around 12 okay uh, and then you go to apply you will see the changes in that uh, font size okay see that and then line uh, normally already fixed line with this two right fix with the line two so otherwise you can fix one so we'll get some uh, clear so you can see that variation with the uh, line with okay so better you can choose uh, two or 1.5 okay so we will get some uh, better result okay so i am here i am going to use 1.5 with the so we will get a better result uh, so but uh, in this figure you can see that the legend will be not uh, uh, fitted with that figure okay so for that just you go to click this uh, uh, arrow mark and then uh, right click that uh, uh, legend so you can so, uh, choose that orientation vertical or horizontal now i am going to choose horizontal okay if you choose horizontal then you will get some uh, perfect uh, location for that uh, placing region okay otherwise you can place here or, or otherwise you can place bottom also okay so now we can see that uh, the legend also placed exactly in the figure okay fitted fitted correctly so after that you can you can save that figure file so by means of that export option okay so you can use that export option just click export so initially that uh, that figure going to be uh, saved in form of a dot figure that mean matlab uh, supported figure format so just i'm going to uh, name it for that figure that mean figure one okay and then save so it going to be saved in the some other location in the uh, hard disk okay next i'm going to export that to figure in the some other format so for example i'm going to use uh, uh, tiff format tiff format then just you could choose that option and then you can save so and also you can save that figure as jbook image also so just go to click this one and then save so that's all about the ex um, extracting high quality image from that uh, matlab so next you have to check that uh, quality of that uh, figure so for that uh, uh, so this two are the uh, extracted image from that uh, matlab so you can see that so when you got to store image okay in the tiff format the file size is around to 4 mp okay and if you have to uh, save that uh, figure at uh, jpeg format the file size will be 137 kb okay so first i am going to click this figure so you can, you can see that uh, image uh, pixel and resolution okay see that So you can check the resolution by right click the uh, right click this figure and then go to properties so you can see that uh, figure in uh, figure resolution okay the, the dimension is 1500 cross 991 and uh, the horizontal resolution vertical resolution is around 300 dp okay so by this way we can uh, generate the high quality image from the from that matlab figure function next time i'm going to include that figure in that uh, ppt okay so for that just go to insert and uh, select picture uh, go to that uh, okay so this one is a tiff file format okay so next time we would insert uh, jpeg format file so this is jpeg format file
so we get the high resolution figure for your presentation and then so you can use this kind of a uh, waveform for that your uh, paper publications okay so that's all about uh, generate a high quality resolution image from that uh, matlab function so thank you